What are you scared of? Deep waters, the unknown. Perhaps you're afraid of distorted figures and being eaten alive. Well, what if I told you there's a game that contains all of the above? Yep, that's right, today we're covering one of my personal favorite video games, Little Nightmares. A beautiful story that not only had me in love, but even one of my best friends. And what better time to make a video about a game than before the second one. That's right, this game is getting a sequel, so I decided I wanted to show my love for the game before I do a full gameplay video on the second, because, you guessed it, I'll be doing a day one gameplay video on it. I can't help it. I loved the first game. Enough of me talking. Let's begin. Little Nightmares has you in the position of Six, the main character of the story, who wears a bright yellow raincoat, carries a lighter, and has an uncontrollable hunger. Damn, girl, like, eat, eat a salad or something. You gotta keep your nutrients up. What the hell? Stop being hungry. As you progress through the story, it's apparent that you're extremely small, with very few things being of your size. In Little Nightmares, you'll encounter obstacles of which you're forced to strategize and think about, however your actions may be pointless or fatal. While playing the game, you'll encounter creatures, some of which being cute and adorable, and others being, oh my god, what the hell are you? Stay back! So, characters that we will encounter will be the gnomes, Mr. Noodle Arms, the twin chefs, you eat too much, and the lady. Yeah, there's also the leeches, but I mean, that kind of just irrelevant. I don't pay attention to them too often. Not many people did. So, I'll be covering major parts of the game that I believe to be the, of importance, so spoiler alert to those who haven't played the base games, and if this video is popular enough, I'll cover the DLC as well. So, I'll be talking a lot specifically in Chapter 1, because it's an introduction to a lot of things that I think are of importance, but whew, who cares, let's begin. At the beginning, a blurred figure is shown slowly tilting upright and getting closer, showing the appearance of a woman with ominous music playing, which, oh my god, is awesome. I really like that opening. Anyway, that was a nightmare, and now wakey wakey time for bakeys, except you don't have no cooking utensils, and you don't have bakeys. No bacon for six. You learn how to light a lighter, grab things, and most importantly, teabag! I mean crouch, I meant crouch. The following area is an awesome establishing shot which shows just how small you are compared to this world, which is just, I love it, oh my god. You're shown ceramic dolls and you carry on with your small life. As you're walking through a room, you walk past a door and realize you have neighbors! Nah, just kidding, that's a concerningly large unidentified figure walking past the door. But hey, who cares, let's just go to the next room and- OH GOD! So yeah, there's some guy hanging there. Nice chair though! The following room is your first encounter with a gnome, and these cute little bastards are scared of you, but it's okay gnome, I give hugs. So now that we've done that, we climb a fridge that someone has mistaken for a fancy shoe rack, and we have our first encounter with leeches. These guys are annoying, scream a lot, and they choke you to death. That's fun. We continue on our path, and oh my god! You fall, you're yucky now, and it appears you fell into some business that these leeches didn't want you seeing. Sorry, did I intrude? We're outside now, so walk outside for a little and you'll see a creepy long arm guy who's having fun pulling cages up there. That's our introduction to Mr. Noodle Arms, formerly known as The Janitor. Anyway, have fun outside? Yeah? Cool! Now climb the rope and go back inside and run through a creepy toy room and guarded with electrified bars. Fun! Now let's meet the other security systems, the eyeballs! These guys aren't nice, they like to pull a medusa and turn you to stone. They play a game of red light, green light with you, but if you don't like that game, you can also play a big game of fuck you with them if you really wanna. Climb some cages and now you can go to the left or right. If you choose left, you'll find some kids out they drew and attempt to scare little Timmy in his sleep, cause fuck Timmy. Go to the right and you'll be met with a familiar face, however he won't stay long and leave you the heck alone. Climb some cages, jump some shelves, make it into another room. Now an introduction to why they were originally gonna call this game HUNGER! You are hungry, little devil. Thank goodness this guy gives you some food. Now fuck him and continue on your journey. Now that you've had some food, have a shower. Just kidding, these are fat people showers, and you're too tiny for them. Climb some cages, climb some chains, pull the lever, pull the lever, pull the lever, and jump on for a ride. That's inviting. Now go back to a shower, avoid the bathing, and GTFO. Go through some more security, and congratulations, you survived chapter one. 
Well, there you have it. That's chapter one of Little Nightmares Complete. I am thankful that you stuck around this long, and if you have, well, you might as well like and subscribe, because it's, it well, if you didn't like, you would have left already, right? Right? Anyway, like and subscribe if you wanna. It really helped me out, I'd really appreciate it. I have a lot of fun making these videos, and I hope you have fun watching them. So, as usual, hasta la vista, everybody. You have been awesome.